Which one? Don't get you red boys like yourself. Chickens! Gravy! Yet, shut up! Oh, oh dear. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Oh, get off, get off, get off. Yeah, sorry about that, fellas. Uh, those boys, they just couldn't have, they just couldn't control themselves. Hi, everybody. This is Black Rhino Ranger. And welcome to a very edifying live stream. Actually, I shouldn't call this Black Runner Ranger edifying live. I should call it Black Niner Black Ed. Uh, okay, okay, bad, bad. That's not. That's not. What am I saying? Sorry, sorry. I just, I just messed up a bit there. Uh, anyways, uh, Black Rhino Range Ed. That's it. That's it. I call myself Black Rhino Range Ed. <laughs> and uh, sorry about that, fellas. So for this occasion, so today is the 23rd anniversary of what is Cartoon Network's longest running show, who, who lasting for over 10 years, and uh, the the 20 and the as well our favorite wamp scamming kids out of the money to buy jawbreakers, the Eds from Eds Eds and Eddie. <laughs> And now, and for this occasion, all you, I'm throwing a party for the Eds. All you gotta do is request anything in Ed, Ed, and Eddie related. I got the characters ready, or I can do the objects, whichever one you want. Do you want me to do the characters, There's like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, or do you want me to do the objects, like the Jar Quarters or Jawbreakers, have characters do who, the stuff. Let's see, um, we got characters, 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 oh, one does objects, but then there's like, uh, um, and then there's characters if you could, uh, <laughs> everyone says French was in, but, <laughs> all right, here we go, fellas, let's start off with the characters, so, what do you want, Ed, to, let's start off with our, Lovable elf, our, our strong yet absent minded horse of the group, Ed. So, hmm. Oh, somebody wants me to do, um, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna go this out of this in order. I'm going to do this out of order because somebody in requested me something quite interesting, I must say. Although, you know, a lot of people did say that before they saw Eddie's brother, they all thought that Eddie's brother was probably the coolest character in the cul-de-sac. But there are some, but even before Eddie's big picture show, there were some indications that Eddie's brother isn't all he seems. I mean, in OED 11, in, in Eddie's brother's, Eddie's brother once uh, tricked the Eds into... Thinking, hmm, Eddie, he won't, you know, at 11, Eddie once, uh, um, Eddie's brother had a map 
which leads him to some treasure. And Eddie said, My brother was a wizard ticking me off. Shows an indication that Eddie and his brother didn't first signs that Eddie and his brother didn't get along. And in Ed, Ed and Eddie's boo ha ha, uh, there was, Eddie's brother drew a map to Spookyville. Where, um, drew a map to Spookyville, where Eddie was one, it was, they all start running about, and then. And then, unfortunately, they ended back in the cul-de-sac. And Eddie says, Boy, ain't my brother a jerk or what? <laughs> I was like, foreshadowing much? Hmm. I think I'll do the textures for Eddie's brother's uh, his clothing off-screen. I'm not sure if I can uh, include the um, the glass, the sunglasses. Apparently he and he and his Eddie he and Eddie they all have the same uh, little little white thing that's little white thing on their on their pants. I think the white thing is supposed to be uh, Eddie um, Eddie um, quarter or some a quarter trick thing or something like a. Like a like a yo-yo or fake money, he trickery thing or something. But in uh, Ed, Ed in the way, he it was used as a as a pool for for Ed for something for Ed to pull, and then Eddie's hair becomes a propeller like a helicopter. And he start and he starts flying after the balloon, but as soon as he grabs onto the balloon, his Hair got tangled and he fell. Now, before you ask, don't expect me to squiggle the characters. And maybe I'll do it off screen, but I'm not gonna do, but I'm not gonna do it again in this live stream. I don't have the time for that. Hmm. Uh, let me just. Um Here we go, fellas. We have Eddie's brother, Here. as seen in Ed, Ed and Eddie's big picture show, holding the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> That's off the list. Okay, what's next? Oh, um, let's see, um. I got some, uh, I got some, okay, um, here we go again. Um. Hmm.
Uh, it's game shake. Where is that? Where is Ed's game shake? Is there a, is there something I'm missing from Ed's? Where is Ed's game shake again? Is that is that a scam from the Ed's or is it something from is some? Is there a shop where you live or something? Just just let me know. Um, I just need to. Know. Is it a scam from? Is it a scam from the Ed's? Um, let's see, um, okay, um, okay, um, ah, something like that. Another thing I, I I really love about the Ed and Eddie cartoons is that kind of like Ren and Stimpy, the expressions on the Eds are very good, highly exaggerated and over the top, but very out there. Let's say. I didn't know this thing was a real thing. The the um, S N S S S N E S station. Hmm. Somebody just really wanted to. Somebody just wanted to. Was desperate. I guess somebody was just desperate to have Mario characters for PlayStation. Well, we're never going. Well, we're probably never going to have a Smash um, ever ported for PlayStation or Xbox. We might. There might one day be. If they ever make a Smash Six, do you think they might be able to do a um, include any PlayStation character? Here. I mean, they allowed Microsoft characters like Banjo Kazooie and Minecraft. Oops. <laughs> wait, 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 I forgot. Another thing you should know about Ed, Ed and um, I'm actually trying to think of some facts about Ed, Ed and Eddie.
Let me just um, fix this bit a bit. <laughs> <A&C>. <laughs> um. Gansa, it's Game Shack. Only 25 cents per game. <laughs> now, normally, Danny Antonucci, the guy who created Ed, Ed, and Eddie, is usually against modernizing the, the Eds, which is why you never see the Eds with a cell phone. Hmm. Because he wants to give the Eds a more timeless feel. Although some of the characters say a few slang, slangs, like, uh, like, um, um, double, like, Kevin often says, choice! And, uh, only 25 cents. Back then, Jen, twenty-five cents means you could uh, you could buy as many job you could buy an entire mammoth-sized jawbreaker. Nowadays, twenty-five cents means uh, Jack Hall. Hmm. In fact, uh, I could see Ed, Ed, and Eddie were in, at this day and age. I could see Ed, Ed, and Eddie either trying to make a mobile game. Him, or just go with some uh, NFTs. <laughs> hmm, just a quick. By the way, have you seen this? Uh... Oh, I, f I uh, didn't realize this little strap thingy earlier. Oh, is that actually a strap thing? I, I don't remember. Um, just let me just. Uh... Oh, it's a, it's a. Oh, I, I remember now.
Sorry, this is taking a while. I'm just um, fulfilling guy's wish. I think I drew him too big. I'll, I'll, let me just reduce him a bit. Just uh Okay, we got um this, we got Eddie, um who was the um Oh uh Oh He sent uh uh what was the error again? Uh, did I, uh, miss some, did I, what was the error? Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm trying to figure out what was the, what was, uh, Eddie, what was Double D and, uh, what was Double D? Oh yeah, Double D was supposed to dress as Scizor and Ed is Cle. Okay. <laughs> uh, I did remember at one point Double D did say, uh, I think it was in Floss Your Ed, where Double D was like, Lobster claws are so uncomfortable. Hmm. While I'm drawing, what, 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 let me talk about what I think are some of my most favorites, what are my most favorite episodes of Ed, Ed, and Eddie by season. Um, I'm trying my hardest to remember which one is my most favorite by season. Hmm. I'm not sure, actually, there's like, mo most of them are just so good. I, I don't know which one to pick as my absolute favorite. I guess um, a glass of warm med or freely bitten Ned or or look into my eds, the one with the hypnos the one with the hypnosis. Yes. And um of course the uh, the one with the hidden the, the the one where Ed sleepwalks is the glass of warm med. And uh, the, uh, what was that? Flea Bin Ned is when Ed had the allergy to rabbits. Anyways, what was I? Um.
another thing with um, another thing with Ed is that uh, he often um, he often uh, um, has his, he he often has an eye sticking out. Um, I will admit he's not the he's Ed is perhaps the most difficult to draw because. Um, Because you're not sure which is his correct face. Is it the one where his eyes are, are more? I is it the one where his eyes are more like um, separated, or is it? Um, Or is it uh, the one where um, where his eyes are 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 definitely close, but um, something else? Um, I guess the thing doesn't really matter as as long as it has the feeling of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Hmm, let me just, um... <laughs> Another weird thing with the ads is that even though every character has four fingers, they only have three toes. You know, it's like it's a common thing you see with with cartoon characters but they usually it's usually the animal characters that have like three toes only the humans usually usually have either five or or four toes Uh, I can't, okay, I think this is the best I can do for Ed as uh, Cleavor. So, yeah, fellas, we have, uh, we have Ed, um, we have Ed uh, as, uh, as Cleaver, Double D as Scizor, and Eddie selling, selling a game to um, El, El Chavo. Oh, I missed a, I had a, there's a gap.
just uh, fix that a little bit. Because uh, if there's a gap, you're not able to fill in the colors. I guess uh, there's no need to do... I guess the eds are all filled. And I guess it's just the other cul-de-sac kids now. Let's see, um... Okay, um... Play Dream Speed Run music and... Um, sorry, I best not do any music because, uh... Because I find that kind of stressful. I'm sorry, I, I can't do any music. I'm sorry I cannot fulfill that request. Besides, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to play... There are some video game music which I'm not sure I'm allowed to play because it may cause demonetization. So, sorry about that, but I'm not able to fulfill that request. Can you request me something else instead? Anyways, what was I? Um... Okay, um, alright, um, ink, okay, um, a lot of game, and then, hmm, related thing, I see. Let me just uh, put in uh Since this is a med at a netty, I figured that some 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 of uh, the technology the Eds would be using would probably be some old ones like um, well, what was I again? He's also known as, um, and Kevin is also known as Shovel Chin. <laughs> at least that's what Eddie calls him. Ladies and gentlemen, Shovel Chin. But that's mainly because Kevin often calls him dorks. Like, if it ain't dork, dork, and dorky. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, shovel chin. Can it, dork? Let's see how cool you really are. You see those? Eh? You see these trash cans? And, and that basketball behind me? Knock them down and I'll let you pass. If not, you losers aren't going to go anywhere. Ha <laughs> ha. An interesting fact is that Kevin, his voice, is the only member of the cul-de-sac kids, the, the only boy in Ed, Ed and Eddie to be voiced by a woman. And everybody else is, every other male is, 
every other male voices um, is voiced by an adult man with exception of Jimmy who started off as a teenager when he voiced Jimmy the, the original voice actor of course he stayed and his voice did mature <laughs> and then there's um and of course, uh, they're the only two voice, the only fem, the, there are only like three female voice actresses, is and they and each of them voices a canker sister, as well as a few, as well as another member of the cul-de-sac kids. Everybody else just resorts, all the males just play one of the characters. Apparently, some people have said that um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie is way ahead of its time. Like um, the episode Laugh Ed Left, the episode where Eddie goes insane because he has no kids to scam because they're all sick. And he, um, and it's because they have the chicken pox, it was a pandemic thing. It was like some say it was a prediction for the coronavirus. And the, um, and the episode Quick Shot Ed, where Eddie tries to take pictures of kids of the cul de sec just to make a profit out of them. And he comes across a monkey calendar. <laughs> Some say Ed, Ed, and Eddie predicted NFTs. <laughs> okay, anyways, what was I? Um, okay, we got every. Um, let's, oh, wait, uh. Um, okay, I got some, I got some more rule-free ones. Let me, um... Oh, uh, this one is not Ed, Ed, and Eddie related. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, um... Hmm. Huh. Why are Crash Bandicoot and Sunset Shimmer depressed? Is it because Crash isn't, uh... It still hasn't got his Wampa League game. Was it because Crash Bandicoot on the run is halted until further notice? Is it because Sunset Shimmer is sad because Equestria Girls didn't end right? Maybe Pony, maybe MLP and New Generation will address something Equestria Girls related. Or heck, what it would be? What would be the New Generation's version of Equestria Girls? Huh? Somebody make a theory on that.
Hmm. I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> hmm, let me shrink the hands a little bit. Anyway, speaking of, um, you know, when since somebody did ask me to draw a star versus the forces of evil thing in the Near Dead and Eddie live stream, it's a rule free request, and but doing something Near Dead and Eddie really, it it's kind of reminds me a bit of uh, Um, this kind of reminds me a bit of, uh, this kind of re reminds me a bit of, uh, my, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie reenactment series, where I do characters from different crossover media reenacting certain bits in Ed, Ed and Eddie history. For example, for example, um, the first one, the Loud Touchables, is reenacted by the Loud House. And uh, the another one is is reenacted by Starver. This is Flea Bitten Ed and the Glass of Warm Ed and also Little Ed Blue. So I'm just I just wanted to know in the comments which is your most favorite of which is your most favorite of the uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie reenactments I've done so far. Which is your favorite crossover? My next stop is, uh, my next stop is the, um, uh, my next stop is the Ed, Ed, and Eddie episode, Run, Ed, Run. The one where the, um, Eds have to, uh, go to... Uh, on a field trip to the candy to the jawbreaker factory he <laughs> but the ed man and uh sarah tricked ed into thinking the sky is falling so he so ed being paranoid tried to tries to keep um double d and ed d safe he but then Double D had a 
has a cunning way to get Ed out of the house by saying, Isn't Sarah outside? It, maybe you should rescue her. Hold on there, baby sister! Ed is coming! And then he goes out to find... And they go out to find uh, Sarah. They chase the bus, and then, and although they they manage to get a, they manage to get the seats, they flung themselves into space, and then they hit themselves on the sky, which acts like a wall. He's like, we hit the sky. This is impossible. It was right. The sky is falling. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it also Did you know over the few of the Wild House was banned in reruns? Yes, I have. Except on Netflix. I can still see a one flew over the Loud House on Netflix. <laughs> okay, anyways, what was I um I yeah, I was um I was doing um what was... Again, I cannot draw. I cannot draw a questry. Wait, actually, um, can I ask? Um, since this is a paid request, uh, should Sunset Shimmer be Pony or Equestria Girl? Since it is a rule free request, I can allow Equestria Girls if somebody pays. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh... Oh, okay, it's a. Uh, it's a. Um... Oh, it is like a pony. Sorry about that. Um. I'm just making sure I uh... <laughs> so. Now some people might ask me to draw a quest some no sorry I'm just uh, thinking to myself um I'm not sure when I'll have the confidence to draw Equestria girls but I will say I'm I have the confidence to try and draw Legos for free. I mean, I changed my rules thing a bit on my um, sir where I um, Funny enough, um, I in case you guys don't know, I did, I did, um, I may have said this before, but I did once plan Crash to be highly depressed because of, because of the Activision lawsuit, which 
slimmed his chance to be in Smash. Oops, uh, oops sorry, I must I accidentally clicked the wrong button. Yeah, cider. You know, I'm actually kind of dumb. I used to, when I saw cider, I used to think um I used to think um why are they allowing alcohol in a kids movie, especially one with a TV Y rating? I mean, isn't cider kind of frowned upon? Unless it's the non-alcoholic cider, or in that case, it should be apple juice. I mean, I have tried cider before, and it wasn't very tasty. I did not enjoy the flavor. I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't like the idea of getting drunk either, because you end up. Asking the stupidest questions when you're drunk. I think I'll draw the full table off screen. Yeah, it shows that um, Crash is crying. Oh, and uh, and um, forget don't not forget um, this thing that uh, Crash often takes especially in crash tag team racing if you have this if you pick up this drink he'll uh if you pick up this drink i think you'll be able to get twice the amount of wampa fruit there we go we have um we have crash and sunset depressed okay back to ed ed and eddie and what was I? Do you not like the Patrick Star show? No, I don't really like it, but I will say I, I can see it work, but only on the SpongeBob show. I don't think I can see it work as its own show. As a one off thing, maybe it could have worked, but as an entire show, probably not. And uh, Patrick's parents and his sister in the Patrick Star show. I can actually imagine them just being actors while Patrick actually... And after they finished the Patrick Star show, um, Patrick would just uh, would be like, Okay, now to just get my paycheck and get out of here. <laughs> and then he returns to his actual house and then his actual mom and dad are... Yeah. In fact, there was, a, there was an episode of Spongebob where Patrick for some reason acts like a dog and uh, oh, a thank you. And, and, um, what was it? Yeah, uh, he, um, I can imagine an episode, there was an episode where, where, um, there was an episode where Patrick actually, uh, um, what was it? When Patrick, uh, acts like a dog and his parents who actually look like his, uh, who actually look like his um, uh, actual previous counterparts from the SpongeBob show, from the from I'm with Stupid, actually showed up and say, "Oh, Patrick just acts like that randomly." He and and this and I I believe this episode came out shortly before or after the Patrick Star show was still there. I mean, this shows this makes me. This makes me believe that the Patrick Star show is actually just a show oh Patrick just worked on just to gain some extra money and those aren't really his parents or his sister. And sister Sam is still 
in the Patrick universe. Even though there's a previous episode which indicates that Patrick doesn't really have a sister. It was in Something Smells. You know, the one with the D-A-E-A meme. A thing smile. <laughs> I will admit, I'm one of those people who's not exactly a huge fan. No, Sarah. Hmm. 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 In fact, there's some. Um, I mean, in fact, the episode Little Ed Blue was when Ed finally stood up to Sarah. I mean, he was in that. He was in that grumpy mood because he had a uh, something, because he had a little bit of something, and uh, when when he kicks when she, when he when he kicks all the other cul-de-sac kids out, he's like, "Away with you, unwanted pesterers!" And Sarah's like, "Ed, you listen to me. You can't get me out. I live here too." So move, says Ed. And then Sarah actually moves. But there are times when Ed actually is a, is a good brother to, to, to his sister. I mean, he, like, he does his best to try and take care of her. Like uh, in the episode, is there an Ed in the house where, it, where um, Sarah has a cold. So, oops. <laughs> So um, Ed is forced to take care of, so Sarah and Jimmy have to take care of her. <laughs> so Sarah and Jimmy have to take care of her. Uh, Sarah, um, I mean, I mean, so uh, Ed and Jimmy have to take care of Sarah until she's better. Hmm. Um, there's even a, there's even an episode, um, <laughs> now, um, I know that Ed, Ed, and Eddie's boo ha, -ha isn't exactly the most beloved, be mainly because of the ending where Ed beats up the cul-de-sac kids and and he basically lets lets Ed and Double D get beaten up even though it was totally his fault. But I will say it's kind of satisfying to see he, he, Ed fighting Sarah envisioning her as a vampire Yes. And um and uh, if you're not happy with, uh, if you're still sour about if it smells like an Ed, and you, um, um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie's boo, and wish Jimmy had a better, bigger punishment than, than just slipping out a banana, boo ha ha has Ed envisioning him as an alien and denting him with a stop sign. Hmm. And of course, Ed, Kevin actually did did uh, fight against the Eds first, yeah, so Ed actually had the right to fight to fight him back. If anything, it's only Ralph and Sarah that are truly innocent, and at least he shows respect for Johnny. So what was I again? Oh yeah. Uh, what was it? Um. Um, 
Hmm. So I'm just trying to... This person Angkor asked me to include a fang for for the character, so I'm including a fang. Basically, I'm not sure how to how to properly do this one. Confront. As in, uh, as in, as in comforting or come or about to face her off. I'm, I'm not sure. Is that, is that how? Let me have a look. Let me ask. Is it supposed to be like? Uh, is it supposed to be like uh, she's, she's sad and he's just comf and Ping Fong is just comforting her, or is it? Uh, is she supposed? She's supposed to face off against. Is, is he supposed? Is. Um, Ping Fan's supposed to fight off against uh, Sarah or something. I I'm not sure how, how to properly do this one. So I'm just going to have it like this. And uh, there, I think I've done the best I can to have uh, Ping Fong uh, interacting with Sarah. Don't know if I did a good job or not. That's, this is all I could. This is all I could do. Anyways, what was I am? Um, Okay, we got, um, let's see, um, oh, oh, okay, 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 sorry, um, redo, 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 Excuse me, I'll, I'll, uh, actually, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, let me just uh, rub this off. I actually kind of like the Sarah pick. I'll, I'll, let me, sorry about that. Let me just, um, let me just, um, I'll save this one for later. Okay, I'm just, um, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, next time I'll be, I'll be a bit more specific, please. <laughs> Sorry about that, fellas. Uh, I didn't mean to.
You want to make sure that um, she, what you're seeing is a palm rather than uh, than the other side of a hand. So. Hmm. He's just doing us a favor. <laughs> If anything, I probably would have kicked, uh, I probably would, eh, never mind, I'll just, um, so, uh, what else, what else, what else, potty mouth, uh, let's see, there's Rolf, there's Jimmy, there's Johnny and Plank, there's Nez, there's the Kanker sisters, and any of Rolf's animals, who's, which one do you want? Um... <laughs> um. Hmm. Don't know if I can do the one. Um. <laughs> of course. What else? <laughs> You play with his animals without permission, you must receive punishment. <laughs> now people have to speculate which country Rolf is from. Some say it's India. Uh, some say it's uh, some say it's uh, somewhere in Europe. And a lot of people usually say he's somewhere in Europe because of uh, because of his um um. A lot of people say somewhere in Europe because of his, uh, um, because of his uh, farm animals, and um, he knows somebody from Norway, from Norway.
Let me just um, map this one a little bit and then I'll stretch it down to size. A little bit more down. Has to be very tall for the hat of discipline to be more effective. Respects the bodies of your elders, yet you must be punished. What is that, Ralph? The hat of discipline. Do you live in a cave? By the way, there was one episode of Ed and Eddie which I never thought went went this, which I never thought went really, which I didn't realize went extremely dark. I mean, uh, in the episode Dueling Eds, where um, Kit where Eddie hurts Rolf feeling by tossing away one of his uh, sea cucumber balls. Rolf you know, has performs these traditions where Ed to show that Eddie has shamed has shamed the son of a sh the name of the son of a shepherd. Good. And uh, when um And then when Double D comes with a flower for Rolf. He's seen Rolf burying himself with a funnel or that's that which she sees him breathing. Like he actually buried himself and is waiting to and is waiting to uh, uh, push up the daisies. He's I mean this is kind of, it's kind of a it's very dark, very very depressing actually. It's kinda of like uh, it's kinda I hate to say this, but it, it's kind of like one course meal levels of depressing. Though not as bad as one course meal, but uh, still kind of gives you the chills. And when, and when, um, so when, uh, when, um, so when Eddie finally comes with the plant, uh, um, Rolf then. Rolf then um, Rolf then thought he was being mocked yet again, so then they, ch they he challenges Eddie to a duel, where um, where they duel at a at the pit and fight with fish, and this is one of the most action packed that Ed Ed and Eddie has ever. Yes, it's like a parody of those uh, of those um, of those action movies where they duel in the pit. Except Eddie is not even fighting; he's just he's just um, getting his butt kicked. <laughs> I think I'm all right with this. There you go, fellas. You mess with Rolf, you must be punished. And once you get slammed. All is forgiven. Okay, we got Jimmy next. Have you watched the Gremlins? Um, I have a little bit. I think I remember. I have. I have remember seeing the Gremlins. I didn't watch the full movie, but I did see. But I did see. Do you remember seeing it? Um. 
Hmm. Jimmy's a little bit tricky because he has a little something on his um, because he has a little something on his um, In fact, there was an episode where, um, where there was an episode when, uh, and when, uh, there was an episode where, um, uh, Jimmy actually, um, where it reveals how Jimmy had his teeth like that. It was in the episode Every Which Way Where But Dead. Shows the origins of the Eds, Eds, and how they how they met Double D. <laughs> and Jimmy was still apparently uh, within that flashback. It shows that Jimmy was still an infant when still what was probably not even born when they met the Eds. When when uh, when Double D met um, Ed and Eddie. When they were just toddlers, when Ed and when they were just babies. Whew. There are some I I remember I did draw the 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 Keldesec kids before. In fact, I drew I drew the um, drew the Eds many times, but I only drew like uh, the some of the other Keldesec kids like once or twice. Nice. Right, so it was only just for this um, drawing for what if the Eds were crash characters in a racing game. And this is my first time. But this is, and they were not even full bodies. This is like my first time drawing a full body of Jimmy. Okay. Ah, that's, I think, uh, um, let me move it up a little. Mm, yeah. Just a yeah. Sorry, fellas, I'm taking a while just trying to get the thing right. Yeah, this is that. Yeah, this is this is this is more like it. This is more like it. I think I should have drawn. I should have tried and draw Jimmy without his break. Says uh, that'd be a lot easier, but so anyway, what was I? Um, according to um, so according to Eddie, to the to Eddie, which way? But yeah, Jimmy he had his teeth broken thanks to one of uh, Eddie's scams. He was a cream horn scam, and um. Jimmy, and then Jimmy, when he took a bite of the, of the, he took a bite of the, uh, he took a bite of the uh, cream horn, and then his teeth were crushed. Like, turns out the, 
The cream horn was nothing more than a bowling pin. It's a bowling pin, Sarah. They tricked me. I'm not able to do Jimmy's high-pitched voice. Maybe if I'm actually trying to do some voice acting, but not when I'm, uh... Not when I'm, uh... Uh... Not when I'm uh, doing a. Um, um, normal talk. In fact, some of the Ed and Eddie voices are not easy to pull off. They're very high pitched. Pitched. Uh, I can I can try though, and Ed, Ed Gray, fine. And uh, maybe I can also try doing Double D, but Eddie because he's. But Eddie, on the other hand, he requires, uh, his voice is quite loud. I mean, there is a time when Eddie actually does try to do a, um, a silent voice. Like, um, check it out, guys. Bald heads falling apart, begging me to, begging to be bossed around, ready to chicken out. And also, funny enough, funny enough um, according to Tony Sampson, the voice of Eddie, um, the reason why he retired from uh, voicing, from voice acting, and went on to, to be a manager of the oil fields and be a music maker, is because he says voice acting is like being back in school. Well, you're being told what to, you, know, you have to coordinate on voice on voicing, you have to get it right, and sometimes that's not easy. I mean, that's hmm. I don't think I did the hands right. Let me just uh, let me just uh, do the hands again. Let me just uh, let me just color Jimmy's hands so they don't overlap. Hmm. Um, also, his um, yeah, that's more like it. There we go, fellas. We have um, Jimmy from. We have Jimmy from Ed, Ed and Eddie playing with Ruffy in. Playing Ruffy from Timmy time. It's Timmy checked. Next up is uh, is the is the bald headed kid. Here with the with a piece of wood on by his side, plank. Oh, you could do Eddie's voice, huh? Uh, maybe one day. Oh, uh, d quick question: Have you seen Encanto on Disney Plus? I have, and I think I want to watch it again. So good. <laughs> um. <laughs> I need um a oh. Where does where does uh, where does uh, Johnny fit in then? I need I need in I need Johnny as well. <laughs> oh, the voice of Luz is also in Encanto. <laughs> my best friend Plank, my best friend Plank. <laughs> Hmm. 
I think I'm allowed to sing my best friend playing. I, I don't I don't remember I don't remember hearing any copyright problems with that song. Um I'm never bored when I'm with you. The pals of bodies through and through. Wish I knew what to buy for you on your birthday. A friend she goes and gets a grain. I see you swell up in the rain. Saw you didn't save your pain. Was it termites? It's never hard to talk to you. Though you stop me with your silence. I feel so naughty pining here. For your happy face's guidance. My best friend Plank. My best friend Plank. My best friend Plank. Ooh, Plank. Count the rings, count the rings. Ooh, Plank, count the rings. Mm -hmm. I bet your mom and dad the trees. Please don't get out your disease. My best friend Plank, gonna burn my best friend Plank. Gonna burn my best friend Plank. You're my best friend Plank. Sorry if it wasn't the full song, but uh, that's all I can remember really. There has been some indication that uh, that uh, Planky was or is alive. If I mean the the episode, the episode uh, "Gimme Gimme Never Red" uh, is a strong indication. It's when Plank requests Johnny to ride uh, to request Johnny to to ride to to get him a ride so the eds make uh, so the eds make uh, plank so they give plank a ride Is that Johnny was wearing sandals. Uh, let me just include uh, another thing from the insect. There we go, we have Johnny squishing Beedrill with Plank. Anyways, um. 
hey ton B drill. Well, I would I would totally squash the little B though those those stingers if I ever saw one. Seriously, they're they're scary. Okay, who wants me to join this? Oh, okay. Um, let me just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now some people don't know some people often speculate what is uh what is uh under what is under um king uh, lee kinker's hair hmm. Hmm. actually that that that's no longer a mystery if you see ed ed and eddie's big picture show or a, a fistful of it, you'll know exactly what's under, what's under Marie's, I mean, Lee's hair. <laughs> and the surprise might end, uh, and, uh, but for Ed and A's big picture show, it might surprise you. I'm just trying to find a hmm. Oops, that's the wrong button. A lot of some people have um, either some people, um, you know, I can imagine what what Ed, Ed and Eddie might have been like if uh, if they came out in if they came out in twenty uh, in the twenty twenties or the twenty tens. With how Pepe Le Pew is being treated nowadays, I think the Kanker sisters might follow, might be similar. <laughs>
Oops. Um. Hmm, might have to, um... Here we go, we have uh, Deadpool, and it seems he has fought off against the Kanker sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like all we have left is Lee is, um, the Kanker sisters are done. Let's, uh, the next up is either Naz or Rolf's animals. Which one is it? <laughs> Careful, because you don't want to be, um, don't worry, I'm trying, I, I, I minimalized it. It's not too much. Just a little stain, that's all. Just a little stain. Um. Hmm. <laughs>
Um, another funny thing is that uh, aside, although although it's mainly focusing on, if, well, although it mainly focuses on uh, t on uh, the Eds, the cul-de-sac kids, and and the Kanker sisters, they rarely they don't include any new newcomers at all. They just focus on those guys, except for Eddie's brother there in the movie but but they did include a couple of one-offs like uh like um mr sun who is voiced by danny antonucci himself appears in the eds are coming the eds are coming where he goes good day jimmy he, although he's although he's he is voiced by danny antonucci he was credited hit for in the credits, he is the voice actor credited is Lupo the Butcher, which means uh, which is a uh, which is based on one of Danny Antonucci's uh, shorts, Lupo the Butcher. If you if you want to look that up, be very careful because that one has a lot of blood and gore and a lot of swearing. Oh yeah, I was supposed to include um, sorry um. <laughs> And uh, another thing that that Danny Antonucci did, which is quite gross, which might require a strong stomach, is um, the brothers' grunt. It was made for MTV. And if you look at it, be cautious because it can have because it has nausea fuel, like the way the characters are animated. And, and um. If you, um, and would you believe he was only, he created Ed, Ed, and Eddie to a dare? Yeah, somebody actually dared Danny to make an Ed, Ed, and Eddie, to make Ed, Ed, and Eddie, a show for kids. There was another Ed, Ed, and Eddie, there was another short which Danny Antonucci created called Snot Rocket back in 2017. Hmm. Snot Rocket was basically, um, basically, um, was basically this dog who just wants some peace, quiet, and relaxation. But this, um, kid named, named Buster, who looks like, uh, who looks like a baby version of Johnny 2x4 with the voice of Rainbow Dash. Mish. And uh, sh and he wants to play. He wants but he wants Butch to play. Listen, small fry. Hey, <laughs> me, peace, quiet, and relaxation. And then the and then the 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 twin these two twin doll girls from next door they come in and they ruin Buster's fun, and and Buster imagines them as a giant two-headed monster. Here, eh. and then, of course, Butch he was having a relaxation, but over time, over time, uh, he grew a heart and decided to help Buster out. Leave my buddy alone! And then he pretends, and then he imagines the blast, the ketchup and mustard as blasters. They start fighting, and then suddenly the mom comes down and. Uh, sees that the house is a mess and and uh, and then she kicks butch out and then buster says let's play again and butch is like oh buster you little snot rocket okay i think we have time for just one more and that's the girl the dude that's next door naz the one that almost every boy in the cul-de-sac has a crush on. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. 
just trying to think. What was that? Um. Hmm. Well, somebody asked me to draw I don't think I did Naz's lips right. Hmm. 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 I think I better do I don't I think I do the um Okay, fellas, I think I've done the best I can with Naz's Raven. Yep. Yep, that's a caper. And it's now time to end by singing a little song. When you stub your toe and it hurts, you know. Friends are there to help you. When you tip off your face and your teeth are misplaced. Friends are there to help you when you find love, when you're giving a show. Friends are there to help you when you take off your shoe, when you're feasting. P.U. Friends are there to help you. And that's it for Ed, Ed and the, for the Ed, Ed and Eddie live stream. I hope you all didn't get scammed when you did those donations. But I, a techie, they still make these? And now, and now to announce what is my next live stream. Now, Ed, Ed, and Eddie is said to be a, a, now to some people, Ed, Ed, and Eddie is a pretty weird show. Some say the Eds are weird, some say Johnny is weird, and some say, some say even Rolf can be weird. But in the next live stream, we're going to get a little bit more weirder, weirder and a little bit more wild because th in this live stream does not place he's from around here instead this next live stream takes place in another dimension isn't that right star thank you for joining me i'll see you all in the next live stream hope you've enjoyed this video